Well, welcome into Getting Help from Uncle Sam. And most of us, when we get to the age of 60 and above, we really become concerned with, of course, all of our lives, we should be concerned with our health, but more so as we go older. And with the COVID that's been hitting us, what are the things they said is that it's going to hit people that are a little bit older. So you got to take care of your health. One of the ways we do it is with a thing called Medicare, which most of us have in our lives. And today we have with us Nick Nyberg and you with the Alabama Department of Senior Services. Welcome back, buddy. It's well, been a while you. since I've seen you. Yeah, I appreciate you, you having me back You let the beard grow out a little bit more. Yeah, I got it. But nice, nice. It's, it's thank looking you. good. It's looking yes, good. Sir. But uh, we're right now into open enrollment, right? Uh, open enrollment is every year. It happens every fall from uh, October 15th to December 7th. Mm -hmm. That's right. And of course, during that period, most of us already have a provider that we're working with. Mm -hmm. So this gives you the opportunity to do some switching. What, what should we do as far as figuring out if we should switch? Well, uh, this time of year is what I call a time of time for change. Okay. So a lot of people are on origi original Medicare and have drug plan, mm -hmm. but there's what's called Medicare Advantage plans, or some people who have Medicare Advantage plans may want to go back to original Medicare. There's a lot that involved in mm -hmm. that, uh, but we do have certified counselors throughout the state that Medicare beneficiaries can call and they can have a plan comparison run. It's real easy. It takes five or 10 minutes. Uh, you know, research shows that uh, Medicare beneficiaries who shop plans every year during this time are able to save more in out-of-pocket costs than Isn't those who do nice? not shop plans. Wow, that right. makes a lot of sense. And you know, of course, obviously we're, we're in the period right now where we have to make that happen. Uh, but, you know, we, we have that Medicare, it comes out of your Social Security. Correct. Automatically. That is correct. And I, I always get a kick because every year Social Security sends, doot, 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 doot. we're raising your <laughs> the money we're going to give you in Social Security, but then a lot of times it's offset by the cost of Medicare. That is correct. Yeah. Now, uh, historically though, well, I'd say probably within the last maybe three years, mm -hmm. uh, Medicare Advantage and prescription drug plan premiums have been decreasing I some. Know. So that is that is a, a really good reason why Medicare beneficiaries really need to shop those plans during open enrollment mm -hmm. to see what's out there that may be better for them and maybe more cost effective. So what happens like in my case, I'm on Medicare, but then obviously I, and it's no secret, I'm, I'm talked about it before, I'm aligned with Blue Cross. Okay. So Blue Cross becomes my Medicare provider at that point. Uh, that is correct. Yeah. Yep. So what I would need to do with Blue Cross, and I don't have any problems saying it on the air here, is I need to let Blue Cross know, you know, I like you guys, but I may be talking to a couple of other people also. That is correct. And mm -hmm. that's, that's why it's such an important time, because you may find something that covers better uh, or may be more cost effective. And uh, with the Alabama Department of Senior Services, we actually have certified Medicare counselors and trained volunteers throughout the state who are available to have these run, uh, excuse me, run these plan comparisons mm -hmm. uh, to help people with uh, what plans are available, uh, what they offer, uh, what the cost is for pre monthly premiums, uh, deductibles, copays. Uh, these people do not work for insurance plans, so they're providing unbiased See, that's, information. That's, that's, very, that's a very key point because a lot of times I've been invited by the insurance companies. Yes. I was going to go to a wonderful dinner. Yes. <laughs> One of them was hosting, uh, and that obviously it's to hear their, their pitch. That's right. So uh, for a person to get access to what we're talking about there, they would either call 1-800-AGE-LINE, mm -hmm. which is the 1-800 number for the Alabama Department of Senior Services, and then you just let them know your locale and they can connect you with a person, like if you're in the Huntsville area or Mobile. Or... That is correct. Normally, if you call from a cell phone, it's going to be patched through our office and we'll get you to the right place. Okay. If you're calling from a landline, it's going to go directly to the area agency on aging that covers your area. Oh, okay. And they will have counselors and trained volunteers uh, ready to help you. Mm -hmm. But if you're calling the 1-800-AGE-LINE number, mm -hmm. that's going to be for all services that you provide, right? That is correct. So it's not just so you, when that person would answer, because they're going to answer Alabama, Alabama Department of Senior Services, then you just let them know, you know, I want to talk to them about senior abuse, or mm -hmm. I want to talk, you know, you can talk about, there's a variety of things, because we tell our viewers all the time, Nick, your department is a real jewel for the fact that 
for all the people that have put money into all their taxes over all the years, mm -hmm. you are one shop stop for anything that pertains to seniors. That is correct. We provide in-home assistance, medication assistance, meals. If you're homebound, we do home-delivered mm -hmm. meals. If you want to go to a congregate setting, which right now with COVID, we're not doing, hope to get back to right, that. Right. Uh, but, but you can go to a congregate setting at a senior center and have a meal. Mm -hmm. uh, we do the Medicare counseling. Uh, we do caregiver respite for caregivers that need a break. Great, great. Uh, so if they call that 1-800-AGELINE number or they can visit our website. I, I was just going to say that. Yeah, www.alabamaageline.gov. Okay, so same thing as the phone number, but it's AgeLine. You've, you've taken good use of AgeLine. That is correct. Yeah. So you've got to have your application signed, sealed, and delivered by December 15th. That is correct, and any change that a Medicare beneficiary may make will take effect January the 1st. January 1st of 2021. 2021. Right around the corner. That's it. That's great. Well, Nick, thank you so much. You're always a, you're an easy interview. Thank I'll you so much, you, sir. Because you give us good information, and it's great information. Yes, sir. And just remember this, one of the great benefits you've got in the state of Alabama, the Alabama Department of Senior Services, here to serve the seniors, and like I say, 1-800-AGE-LINE. It's so much easy to re remember. If you need any kind of services, give them a call. They're here to serve. And we'll be right back right after this.